What's up y'all, I'm back with another video and today I'll be making a new and improved tier list for main characters. It did change around since the new update so yeah, I will be trying to make it even better than last time. I will be making a separate video on accessories and fruits. If y'all want to see that, comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to join my discord, but other than that, let's get right into it. So first we're starting out with Kaido. Kaido is a pretty good character, I'll say he's S tier. Next is Unawakened Guts, Uh, he is an okay character, would I put him in S tier? Maybe, yeah why not, he's still good. Good. Next we got Awaken Kurumi. She is a good character, just not above Guts Awaken. Probably above Guts on the weekend, so yeah. Kaido is probably just right above Guts on the weekend, so yeah. On the weekend, Kurumi, I'll probably put her A tier. Hope Awaken, I'll probably put her D tier. She is a good assist. Barus, pretty good S tier, right below Kaido, I'll say. Genos, pretty good. I definitely say C tier. So Kilua, C tier, he's okay. Rank, I'll probably put him B tier for now. He's an okay Dimensions character if you want to use him. So Kirito, I'll probably put Kirito A tier for sure. He's a great main and an even better assist. Tanjiro's, I'll probably put him eight her as well uh she's good naruto he's a great character honestly uh this guy he's okay probably just better than kilua maybe even better than her as well i'll probably put him around here just because he's so good in dimensions uh yakuza not really that good uh not tested i'll probably just make a new column real quick she does give a 50 percent boost in a raid i forgot which one it was so yeah uh goku not that good he's okay i'll probably put him in like c tier maybe not that good of a character natsu he he, he's okay he could be better probably put him right there on the weekend shadow monarch probably a tier he's still great without his awakening you don't really need it honestly in dimensions awaken Richi. pretty good honestly a great assist he's a pretty good main as well probably just right above tandro or right below tandro sun god eden awaken pretty good probably b tier high b tier uh yamato mm, not that good of a character i'll probably put her low b tier sasuke he's an okay character not the greatest tandro his gem version okay character as well i'll probably put him around here uh this guy he's not that good of a character probably neck and neck with her right here so gojo pretty good main honestly i'll probably just put him near ranked hunter for now buff boy mm, not that good of a character i'll probably put him beats or high beats here run goku on the weekend i'll probably put him right above ranked hunter nezuko probably low a tier pretty good zero he's an okay character i wouldn't say he's the best but i'll probably put him right under tanjiro so she is a pretty good character probably not better than cyborg she Old man i'll probably put them in detail as well they're not really good main characters they're just used for assists so yeah rumoru awaken she's up there with eden pretty much the same warlord i'll actually make a new column for warlord as well he is the new meta his raid is meta so gem itadori okay character not that good i'll probably put him here kaneki uh he's an okay character not the best so koko shibo he is a pretty good main for boss rush i'll probably put him right above nezuko so denji honestly he's an okay character not the best Best, probably put him right below Nezuko not the best of characters so Breen not that good of a character she's an okay character I'll say probably just right above Tandro which Megami she is okay not that good probably just right above Tandro as well Unawaken Yorichi beats her probably higher than Eden maybe Goku not that good of a character probably low A tier so Gar Awaken I'll probably put him right near Yorichi as a main. Blood Fiend, pretty good main as a gem character. Probably right above this guy. And actually, I'll probably put him lower because he is not that good. Uh, She is okay. Not that good of a character. Honestly, probably right neck and neck with Kaneki. Odin, one of the best raid characters as a main. Uh, Shinra, he's an okay character. Not the best. Probably just put him right above Kiloa. Deal over Heaven, one of the best characters to ever come out. He is S tier, top of the top. Uh, Sukuna, not that good anymore. His raid left, so he's not that good of a character probably put on um, probably just higher than uh buff boy and honestly i probably just put eden and rimuru above buff boy as well not that good of a character and then switch a richie right here levi awaken pretty good i'll probably put him around here speedo sonic not that good he is a good gem character but for the amount of gems he cost not that good. I'll probably put um near ranked hunter. Probably even above their neck and neck for now. I know we can leave I probably low or high B tier. Can't put them higher than these guys. I know we can beast Naruto. Probably high B tier as well. Right in front of Sakuna. So Deku, I think this is his dark version. I'll probably put um low A tier. Probably right above Goku. Uh 
Esper, she is pretty good. Probably put her right above Kaido. She's a great character, honestly. Awaken Naruto. Pretty good, honestly. He is a great main. Probably switch him with Tanjiro. Mist, S tier. Probably wouldn't put him above Baros. And I'll probably switch Shadow Monarch up here just because he is a little better, you could say, than these guys. So yeah. S Def, neck and neck with uh Yorichi. Obito, pretty good character. I'll probably put him A tier right above Tanjiro Sun God. Laura, not that good of a boss rush character. Probably put her right above of ranked hunter best boy not that good of a character as well probably right above her millen she is pretty good honestly i'll probably rank her high a tier unawakened eden okay character to have not the best probably put her right over here uh i have no idea what this is so i just say not test it so gojo pretty good character probably put him just right below obito akara pretty good not better than which Mega me actually i'll actually put her right here he's an okay character so thorn pretty good character solid character character honestly she is top of the top so she is definitely s tier probably put her right here and actually now now thinking about it i'll probably put her higher because she is a good character like around here next we have ichigo ichigo is a pretty good character i'll probably put him right there esper pretty good character as well probably neck and neck with gojo uh she is okay not the best but yeah so luffy he recently did get his face removed but luffy is a pretty good character i'll probably put him right here probably even higher probably just neck and neck with uh kurumi unawakened so Dio, regular Dio from Ray Shop. He's a pretty good Ray Shop character. I'll probably just put him um, neck and neck with Milim. Pretty good, honestly. And I'll put Deku 100 a little higher. Zero Summer version okay character probably low or high beats here definitely high beats her neck and neck with sukuna broly mm, not that good of a character honestly uh probably just above ryorichi annoying sakura pretty good character luffy okay character probably just neck and neck with ichigo so king of heroes i'll probably put him neck and neck with broly annoying rimuru i'll probably put her above yamato sid one of the best characters to come out as well annoying dio still a great character to use probably neck and neck with the regular version of dio the Unawaken Awakened version is probably a little better, probably not, because the Awakened version has an accessory that you can attach to get more damage, so I'll put them above Dio regular. Katsukuri, uh, pretty good character. I'll put him low A tier. John, neck and neck with uh Dio slightly worse. Ichigo full bring, uh, okay character, not the best. I'll probably put him right there. Awaken, uh, Guts, he is meta. Uh, Makima, top five characters to use in Raid. One of the best. I'll probably put her right here. Unawakened, uh, as dev probably neck and neck with Yorichi. So Madoka, right above Kurumi, actually. Pretty good character, honestly. Attack Titan, pretty good character. I'll probably put him around here. So... I think this is the Love Hashira. She is pretty good. Not that better than a lot of characters, but she is good. So yeah. Aizen. Low S tier. Could be better. So Uzui. Uh, he is a pretty good character. I'll probably put him around here. Neck and neck with uh Nezuko. Katakuri Summer version. I'll probably put him neck and neck with his regular version. Probably a little better. Shanks. Pretty good main. I'll probably put him around here. Garu Unawaken. Not that good of a main. Like right around here. Uh, Not that good of a character, honestly. Unawaken Kirito. Pretty good. Not the best, but okay. Probably put him right below as death Rimuru, not that good of a character uh probably put her right here so asta he's an okay character to have not the best of but yeah he is okay six paths naruto he's an okay character probably high b tier and i will bring sakuna down here a little bit and even summer boy zero because they're not better than eden and slime awaken so yeah the 2000 robux character pretty good not the best but probably put him right here unawakened uh dusk probably put him neck and neck with Kurumi. So we got Awaken uh Rangoku. Probably right below Levi. So yeah. Alter S tier top of the top so Zenitsu, uh pretty good character i'll probably put him high b tier probably just lower than dream rule and uh slime awaken uh primordial okay not the best could be better probably put um right here unawaken madoka neck and neck with uh sid uh and hope again d tier not the greatest so if y'all are wondering what the meta is it is just mihawk and guts just have mihawk as your main and guts as your assist and probably just use deal over heaven or sid i do prefer sid awakened inside uh mihawk's raid but it if y'all want to take a screenshot or take a little video, take one real quick. The bottom row doesn't really matter. It's just shadow characters. Now I'll be doing assists real quick. So yeah. So right now we'll be doing the assists. So the first character I see is Kurumi. She is meta. Does give a 50% boost. And she does give plus 28 attack when awakened. So yeah. Uh, Hope awakened best boy assist kirito awaken a tier i'll probably just make this s tier and make the other slot a tier shadow monarch awaken he's a pretty good assist if you don't have any of the meta assist or assist above this 
do Shadow Monarch. Uh, he does give crit chance, I believe, which is pretty good. Richie Esther, he's a great assist. Gives 18 plus boss damage, I believe. Eden, I probably put Eden right above Shadow Monarch pretty good she does give attack 12 attack i believe rimuru neck and neck with eden give the same exact thing garu i'll probably just put him right above yorichi because he is a better assist his fourth move is pretty much way better than yorichi's move so yeah so wick and naruto why not does have an assist boost you should use any character that has an assist boost if you don't have a good one the over heaven is definitely the best assist to use if you're doing a raid where the boss doesn't dash or even dimensions because this cooldown is lower than every other cooldown for every event character it's at 65 i believe and he does give a plus 25 boss damage so yeah levi pretty good gives i believe 15 percent boss damage pretty good i probably put him right above eden and slime luffy why not? He does give an assist boost. You should use him. So Esper, the reason why she is an S tier is because when Garu Raids comes out, that is one of the best raids to get the highest amount of damage in, and she does give a 50% boost. So definitely use her as an assist. If you have her in Garu Raid, Madoka Awaken, meta, right above Kurumi. Guts Awaken, meta, best one to use right now. Sid Awaken, probably just right below Dio Over Heaven, just because Dio Over Heaven cooldown is much lower than his. So yeah, use his, pretty good. I think he gives attack, I'm not too sure. So Shield Man, he is in the best boy uh assist category just because he does make you invincible for four seconds i believe so as def neck and neck with yorichi so yeah this is pretty much it for the assist tier list i do recommend using each and every assist on this list except for like best boy assist unless you're using the best boy method so if you have any of these characters use them first if you don't use these if you don't have these use these if you don't have these use these so yeah pretty much self-explanatory take a screenshot or a picture if you want to so yeah thank y'all for watching if y'all like the video subscribe i would like to thank out and shout out goal he did create all of the tier lists that i'm going to be using so yeah i appreciate him so much also don't forget to comment down below what you want to see next type w's for goal in the chat don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 1.5k subs you could definitely hit it within this month also there was about like two characters missing but it's cool it was asta he is s tier and i forgot what the other character was but yeah thank you for watching and peace out